Today I'm going to take a look at this uh, this new um, rotary table I've got. It um, comes from a company called RDG, um, but ultimately it's a, a Chinese import. Um, it appears to be very well made, um, so, certainly for what I paid for it, which was about £60, I think. Now, it, it's OK. I mean, it's got a bearing in the bottom. It doesn't appear to be any more than expected backlash, um, and, and it, it's fine. Um, there's, there's not really much I can say about it, but anyway, the, the reason I bought it was because it will fit very nicely into my vise, and using a pin, I can set it up really quickly, so I'm more likely to use it. Um, with my big rotary table um, for big parts that's fine I'll take the vise off put the rotary table on but when I just want to round off the end of something like this for example if I just want to do that round it's so much easier just to put this little rotary table in the vise and use it to round the end off which is what I've done with this component which you'll uh, you'll see eventually you may have already seen I'm not sure when this video is going out but that, that was my reasoning behind buying it. Um, but of course with any new thing like this, th this, this is just a fixed rotary table. It doesn't tip or, or anything. I wanted one with a very shallow profile so I could got a bit of height in the mill. But um, as I was saying, with any new um, item for the workshop, there's usually a side project now. I've already made one of these little pins up which go in there which is, is easy alignment because I can just put it in the four millimeter collet and line, line this up on the table and then zero the table out which um, is really a piece of cake and this this back edge is always going to be true with the x-axis of the table because the back jaw of the vise is what this clamps against which is true to the x-axis of the vise so I'll always know where I am so anyway I'm going to make a few more of these up because the little pin that sticks up is ideal for these rounding off pro projects because you can always you, you can use that to center the part once you've got a hole drilled in it so I'm going to do a couple more of these I'm probably going to do one at about six millimeters and one at eight millimeters they seem to be the most common size holes and then of course I'll, I'll make more as required now also I've got to make some little t-nuts for it so let's get on with that let's, let's get some of these made and some t-nuts Right, what I was doing there was I was just setting uh, the tool to make sure that I can get the tool in without it hitting the chuck to cut my 14 and a half millimeters off of there because I'll be using this tool to finish this this one will go in because it's right on the edge but I needed to check the other one
Right, I've made a couple of uh, little pins. Um, they fit very snugly in there. So I can use those as fixtures for turning rounds. What I'll do is I'll make a couple more, you know, I'll make, make them as required. Um, but I've got a four and a six, they're the most popular ones I use at the moment. Um, what I want to also do now is to make up some um, tea nuts. So over to the mill and uh, find a bit of metal to make some tea nuts. I've got a bit of stock in there, guys. Just going to mill this down to 14 millimeters now. Sorry, down to 13 millimeters. I just took a little bit more clearing on, on this edge uh, because when it's hot rolled it rolls so it shrinks back on the edge so this edge had rolled a little bit so now that's uh, nice and flat. Right, I'll just deburr the edges and then uh, we can get set up to do the rebates for the tea. Right, we've got to come in 2.62, we've got to come down here 6.25, 6.25. We'll come down six. Let's come down six. And that will leave eight millimeters in there. Thirteen point two here. And then of course we're going to put a, a six millimeter threaded hole through the center. Right, first I'm going to do, I'm going to touch off on the edge first and then I'm going to touch off on the height so I've then got my coordinates for this side. Right, that's my Y axis now set because I just touched off on the edge with the cutter so I now want to set the depth so I'm just going to touch off on the top. Right, I've now got my Z axis zeroed, I've got my Y axis zeroed, so I can now come down the uh, six, six millimeters I need to come down on this side. So I'm just going to test to make sure I've got enough room without hitting the jaw before I start it up. Got the height set, so all I've got to do now is touch off on the back side 
and then I can set the DRO and mill out the other side. Right, just going to give that a bit of a, a try. That, that fits a treat. I'll just get that cleaned up and then we can put the holes in and, and cut it off. Got that uh, cleaned up now and uh, it fits a treat so I can set it up now and drill the holes and put the threads in. So the first one in from here, that's 17 and a half millimeters. So the first hole is 8.75, and then I'll go 17 and a half from that. I'm right, just going to find the center and this edge. using a, a 5.2 millimeter drill and I'm going to drill down for the uh, tack clearance. First hole is going to be 8.75 so the table is that way. Okay, that's 8.75, we're on the center. The next holes will be 17 and a half millimeters that way. And uh, yeah, let's get them punched in. Oh, I can't remember if I said at the start of that, but um, it's a 5.2 millimeter drill for a M6 one tap. So 17 and a half that way now. Right, 17 and a half on top of the uh, 875 is 2625 on the DRO. The next hole will be 4375, 6125. Right, I'm going to um, power tap these. Right, I'll just get that cleaned up and get them cut off. And the uh, 
tea nuts. Go in there quite nicely. If I want to clamp something in there, I can. Uh, A bit uh, oversized, let's just say. I want to clamp something in there. I can, uh, I can use my um, clamps. Obviously, with a smaller screw um, to clamp stuff in there, or I can um, put my fixture plate on, screw through into these for the fixture plate. I can put a cross clamp on. So. Basically what, what the project was today was obviously the the T nuts. And the two little fixtures. So that's my little uh, mini rotary table and I'm really looking forward to getting um, stuck in with this because that's going to save me a lot of time and produce some much nicer results without too much hassle. So anyway that, that was the project of today. I can't really say much about the rotary table, it is what it is, it cost me about 60 quid. Seems to be reasonably accurate, certainly accurate enough for what I want to do with it. That's all folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.